In 2010, Baby Jetta Samwajan finished 18th in the final voting for the Ballon d'Or. It was a great year for the Ghanaian, uh, who was immense for the Black Stars at the World Cup and in the African Cup of Nations that year. That was the last time a Ghanaian finished in the top 20 of the Ballon d'Or voting. Asamajan in that year got 0.46% of the vote. Tonight, another winner of the prestigious Ballon d'Or award will be announced and it looks like it's keenly going to be contested between Robert Lewandowski and Lionel Messi, with many tipping Messi as the favorite to win the crown. We'll see after tonight who will be named the Ballon d'Or winner. Will it be the seventh one for Messi or the first for Lewandowski? We'll see about that. Today we're going to talk about uh, Afenya Chan, uh, the guy who has best onto the scene for AS Roma, scoring his first two goals for them last weekend and being the first player born in 2003 to score in the Serie A. Ah, and now his agent has sought to clear the air on how his scouting process was done. Now, in an interview with Zion Felix, an expatriate in the name of Sebastian Arneson, uh, look to suggest in an interview with Zion Felix uh, that he was part of the process of scouting Afengejan into AS Roma now finally. His agent uh, Arthur of Arthur Legacy has sought to clear the on that and state emphatically uh, that it was not through that process. We'll see how Afengejan was scouted. We're also going to talk about Kojo Asamoah who it looks like will be making a return to his former club Udenize. Yes, Udenize look to be interested in the club less and free agent uh, Kojo Asamoa who after his loan stint with Agaleari uh, could not uh, secure a permanent berth with them. We'll be looking at all that today as usual. Subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So Afenya Jan, the hottest kid on the block. The one who got the double uh, for Jose Mourinho's side to get them all three points last weekend versus Genoa has become a person of interest. And in this interview with Zion Felix in which uh, Sebastian Anderson suggested that he was part of the scouting team uh, for Afenya Jan, his agent has come out to clear the air on that. And now in this interview, he told Zion Felix that he has helped scout a lot of young and big stars right now. He mentioned the likes of um, Afenye Jan, uh, which caught a lot of people's attention. Now, owing to that, his agent uh, Twitter handle uh, to clear the air on the issue. Now, the retired uh, FIFA agent Oliver Arthur has paid glowing recommendation to the Ghanaian machinery uh, which scouted, refined and transferred the new kid on the block, Afenya Jan, uh, to AS Roma. This is meant to scuttle comments by Dutch scout Sebastian Anderson that he spotted the player after just 10 minutes into a game he watched in Ghana. But the facts remain that the player was picked by a local scout Gideon Atto of Arthur Legacy Sports uh, during an inter-schools competition in the Brongahafu region. The 18-year-old has hogged the headlines in recent times after scintillating displays for Jose Mourinho's side in the Serie A. Last week, he came off the bench to grab two goals to get them a 2-0 victory late on. The Arthur Legacy posted that the whole story of Afengejan is made in Ghana. Scouting was done in Sunyane by Gideon Atto, chief scout, a training by Euro Africa FC, and finally, deal brokered by AS Roma Oliver Arthur Legacy, uh, tagging some journalists in the post to make them aware that uh, that news about uh, him being scouted by Sebastian Anderson um, was not accurate. And he looked to clear the air on that, talking down the whole process of how Afenajan ended up with AS Roma. I think it's right that he just does that to clear the air on that issue because when i saw that interview i myself was like oh okay so he was part of the process and everything but um, it turns out he was not part of that uh, process and it's it's cleared up there by the agent oliver arthur and now udenize my next story uh, look to be the ones interested in signing ghanian free agent uh, Kojo Asamoah. Kojo Asamoah, after being let go by Inter Milan, joined Cagliari for the last half of the season and it did not end well with him because he was not maintained by Cagliari. He now is a free agent without a club and it's looking like Udinese are interested in him according to sources for a January transfer move. And now the Italian side have shown interest in signing Ghanaian Kojo Asamoah 
in the transfer window, to, according to reports in Italy. And now the former Juventus wing back is without a team since leaving Cagliari last season at the end of his contract. Udinese are looking to recruit a left back in January and are considering a reunion with a Ghana international. Udinese also wants back their former player who they signed in 2008 from Ghanaian side Liberty Professionals. Asamoa was an integral part of the Udinese side before his big money move to Italian giant Juventus in the 2012-2013 season. He has been linked with a move to Major League Soccer, Serie B sides and Turkey ahead of the transfer window in January. Asamoa, with his experience in Serie A, will be key for the clubs interested in his services following his winning experience with Juventus and the like. So, Skoja Asamoa looks like uh, he might be headed to Udanese. They have shown interest in him and they look to snap him up in the January transfer window. Kojo Asamoa has had a torrid time and now without the club, we'll see what happens for him in the upcoming uh, winter transfer window. Swindon Town are looking to life without a Ghanaian player. Uh, Jojo Walakot, who apparently will be joining the Black Stars uh, for the African Cup of Nations. Walakot has been immense for his club side Swindon Town, made some amazing saves over the weekend for them as they got a 1-1 draw in their game over the weekend. Uh, they have to make do with the Ghanaian as coach Ben Ghana uh, says the club is planning for life without Jojo in January ahead of the upcoming African Cup of Nations. Walakot has only recently been called up to represent Ghana, uh, but has impressed with his three clean sheets in six appearances as the Black Stars qualify for next year's World Cup playoff place in Qatar. Uh, before De December's World Cup, though, Ghana will play in the 2022 African Cup of Nations, hosted by Cameroon, which Walakot is expected to be a key member of the squad for the tournament, which begins on January 9th. Uh, Ghana said, that while Lewis Ward is a perfectly capable replacement between the sticks, a Swindon Town will require cover for the period in which Walakot is away. He said, I would, I would say that we probably will be without Jojo. He's gone away and done really well for his country. He's played the last four games and kept a clean sheet in the last one against South Africa. That's brilliant for Jojo uh, to get that international recognition and it's pride for him and his family. I would fully expect him not to only be called up in January, but to start each game based on what he is done. We're all aware of that situation and we are planning in advance. As I've said from day one, we are very fortunate to have two fantastic goalkeepers. Both deserve to be number one and I do mean that. We definitely need to look at options in terms of bringing in a bit of cover for when Jojo goes away. So uh, Swindon Town preparing for life without Jojo Walakot, who has been impressive for them and also for Ghana who will be needing him for the African Cup of Nations. So that has been it for today. We'll be talking about Udenize. We'll be talking about them being interested in Ghanaian player Kojo Asamoa. We've also been talking about Jojo Walakot and his club preparing for life without him as he prepares for the African Cup of Nations and our financial agent Olivatha are looking to clear the air on how he was recruited and scouted. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.